Do not try this at home. <laughs> Start of episode three today, uh, shred packing. I keep joking, there's like a 60, 50% chance I uh, somebody break something on this episode. So, um, I'll try not to do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm riding with Christian Pepper this week. So I figured I'd do some studying slash homework. And I was looking at this line right here and I think I can maybe go down this. I'm not like that extreme of a mountain biker, so cut me some slack, sheesh. All right, let's see if I can do it and not die. I did it. <laughs> I did a bit more of my own creative mountain biking and then got back on the road and headed north to meet up with Christian Pepper based in Salt Lake City. How cool is Utah though? I love Utah. This is one of those moments where I feel like I'm brought to tears, honestly. I cried a little bit earlier. Don't, don't make fun of me. This is special. How are you? You ready for this? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, the story for the viewer is I met Christian, but never talked to him at Sea Otter. I just shot a photo of him, which I will flash onto the screen, and that was it. <laughs> the word for this episode is shred packing. Shred packing. Um, That's much more style. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever shred packed before, because I don't know at what line do you cross to you know enter the field of shredding. I don't know if I've gotten there. Subjective. I think it's it's too deep. I've never known it. Everyone can shred pack at their own level. Okay, so first thing we need to talk about is you've never bike packed before. I've never bike packed before. <laughs> so we have a, a whole lot of learning to do. Is this from your triathlon yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> you did the triathlon this thing? Yep. Crazy guy, I love my it. My wife rode my road bike. Okay, so there's something about this tool. I don't know. They They gave me this fancy thing. I have no idea how it works though. Do we want to go for it right now or do we want to set other stuff up in case we need to shimmy it? Uh, you just got to know the greatest satisfaction I've ever felt in my life. This tool is so amazing. Like, slip it through mm -hmm. and then now you just squeeze that. Not crazy tight, but enough to tighten. Oh, it it's tight tightening itself. Isn't that the nicest feeling you've ever felt? Yeah, and look at how tight it's getting. You can see the plastic stuff underneath like warping a little bit. Yeah, baby. Now do I like go hard and break it or? No, it cuts it too high. So then, or oh yeah, you can do the orange one. Do the orange one cut it? Oh, oh. all at once. Mm -hmm. One more. Okay. Hold up. Honestly, I would buy an old man mountain rack just so I could do this. Nice and tight. Mm. Oh. Look at that. It's on there. It's on there. We're like halfway to bike back. And then you just hit this with a little one, two. Woo! And then we're ready to go. <laughs> okay, so we're like almost ready and it's getting kind of late. And then, oh my goodness, just on time. We got the pizza. High and ready. <laughs> Oh, it looks fresh too. So you're gonna just shove this in your frame bag? This is going actually in my swap box. All right, Christian, walk us through your setup. What do you got? What do, you, right. what do you know about your setup? We got 64 ounces of water. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're mounting onto two paneers here on the front. Nope, on those the... are not paneers. Those are paneers. Right, that's right. <laughs> those <laughs> are cargo cages. <laughs> no, what are these called? <laughs> these are called valet straps. Voila straps. Is that Voila. Uh, I got the Old Man Mountain Rack on the front, the lighter version. I've got the Old Man Mountain Rack on the back. Man. 
Crazy guy. I'm ready to go for it. I got a, a bar paneer. <laughs> this, is a boy, <laughs> the paneer. this is the, uh, what's the name of this guy again? This is a Nog Power 2200. 2200 Dude, This thing's a little, it's a little sun on your handlebars. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Light up that crazy I'm so excited for job. some night riding, dude. This is going to be sick. All right, just like that, we're ready to go. It's been a couple hours. <laughs> uh, way longer than we thought. <laughs> a little chaotic over here, but we are ready. <laughs> we'll see. Doing it. All right, so we're here at the bike park, and Christian's literally going to go hit some massive jumps with this thing. How heavy? What it's you pretty think? heavy, man. Like I feel like it feels like double my normal bike, so I'm uh, really eager to see how it goes in the air. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> And like these are not small jumps by the way so i came here the other day on my unloaded bike and this was the biggest one i hit uh i looked at that and i said that's a little out of my comfort zone are you really about to hit that dude the takeoff is like just over my head height yeah that's that's like not something to mess around with and the hard part is like the bike is so heavy and the takeoff is so steep that, that the like, weight just goes through the face yeah the weight is just gonna go like Gah! so all right well if anybody can do it christian you're the man here's the hope <laughs> good luck okay before he goes i just want to clarify do not try this at home children going for it Oh, can't suck up the roll roller. That boy's flying through the air! That was sketchy off. Dude, how was that? That was sick! That wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh! <laughs> All right, my turn. All right, dude, next time. First jump, I'm gonna unscrew it. So much up in the core that you can mix the third jump. <laughs> Christian, look at that little Swiss Army knife. Remember how you literally just bought your first multi tool? Oh. <laughs> now you got a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> It's gotta continue on. <laughs> So it was a lot of fur today. You've never bike packed. Never bike packed. I've never really hit jumps like this, other than what three days ago when I came out to meet Which you. Which I can't believe because you're crushing <laughs> that last one, that big one. That big one scares the crap out of me. But I did it, dude. You con you conquered it, man. You know you know what's in Even that. Even through the little baby no hander. Um. Oh my goodness, that was way too fun. Now we got to go find a place to camp. What's oh yeah, but we're riding a trail first. Yeah, we are. How's the pushing going, Christian? Uh, no better time than now. Wow, this is gonna be so crazy. Less red pack, whatever that means. I ain't never done this one before, mama! Yeah, buddy! <laughs>
hard, Christian. Walk us through what are you doing because this is kind of the uh, <laughs> the crux of our bike packing trip. This is indeed the crux. Um, we both brought hammocks because we're trying to be like ultra light. Sorry. And uh, Christian didn't, didn't know if there were trees up here. So and in fact, I, I don't think I'm going to call them trees. I'm going to call them big shrubs. But they are kind of stocky. So now we got to see if we can run some hammocks. Sounds pretty bomber to me. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so first blush, you like bikepacking? I love adventure. What kind of adventures do you normally go on? Mm. So, you know what I'd really love, honestly, is to get an e-bike. Really? Because a few times when I've taken e-bikes out and just gone up into the hills, into areas that, like, you never even knew were there. Yeah, but you can do that with a normal bike. You just got to pedal a little bit more. You know, given that I have two kids at home, really the only riding that I have time to do is my very favorite riding because if I'm going to set aside the time to do it, mm -hmm. it's usually, you know, my jumping yeah but the other appeal of e-bikes is i'm carrying you know my 40 50 pound three-year-old on the mac rider on the front of my bike oh yeah that's tough and so that's where the e-bike would really mm -hmm. be nice is then i can ride up the normal stuff as though it were just a trail ride i hear you and after today riding these things i'd be pretty comfortable jumping an e-bike <laughs> yeah Dude, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna get this like view overlooking the city. The white pointy thing? Yeah. It's oh, really but it looks small, small, yeah. Way out there. Yeah, but that temple right there is so big. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm scraping dirt. Oh. <laughs> Christian. Are you alive? Yeah, I'm sorry. Did you fall out? No. Bro, I gotta poop. So today it's instant coffee in the Nalgene and overnight oats in a Ziploc bag for breakfast. So it was like 100 degrees and just blaring sun yesterday. We got this beautiful cloudy day. It's nice and cool. Had a little bit of rain this morning. Man, it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day to be alive, Christian. Hey, and the seat post comes out. We quickly got on the bikes and just as quickly got over to our biggest trail of the day. All right, you ready to hit this thing? I'm ready, dude. All right, we go hit some, some drops. You said there's a seven foot drop on this? Yep, there's a drop that can be sent seven feet on this. All right, why not? Christian's on a, really on like a death met mission. See how far away that bike is? That bike is so far away, and that's where he wants to land. Christian's hiking up to go, go hit this thing. Uh, I told him I was gonna hit it. I might have lied a little bit. This one's, this one's a little out of my comfort zone. You got this, buddy! Freaking Evan's face, look at him. He's like, did oh he survive? Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I can't run the cameraman. That was crazy to watch, bro. You were you were up there. The clap on. Oh yeah, dude. I got clap. <laughs> so good. Oh my goodness. All right, so my turn. <laughs> Your turn, dude. No. <laughs> you totally got this, man. You totally got this. Besides, drops are your thing. Uh, <laughs> I made the mistake of saying drops are my thing. I didn't say they were my thing. I said they're my favorite. That doesn't mean I'm good at them. That just means um, I've sent some drops, but I've never sent a drop loaded. I mean, it's like... You got this, dude. The takeoff to the land is so far. All right. Dropping. Dude, we did it. We faced our fears. Dude, we saw God. That's a, that's a pretty big setup for a freaking loaded bike, man. Yeah. I was about right here and I was thinking, man, this is big. <laughs> like, if you have thoughts midair, it's big. It's big. Nevertheless, we tooled around quite a bit more. Imagine what it's like to just float on the breeze like that. Dude, that's what it was like at those dirt jumps yesterday. Including one more stupid drop. Oh. oh, yeah! You got her good, bud. I got her good. Found it? Dang. Holy crap. Wait, show it to the camera? <laughs> wow, you blew that boy to smithereens! That's, yeah. a, that's a tube, maybe even a boot. All right, let's get home. Christian just told me about uh, a little Utah specialty called a... The Mormon Mom Sodas. The Mormon Mom Soda. So we're gonna go get one just to try it. Yeah, dude, they uh, As a celebration. Yeah, they're uh, packed full of, you know, flavored syrups and creamers and whatnot. Just your good old wannabe Italian ice soda, but it's the, uh, the Mormon Mom version because they don't drink coffee, so. But can we spray it like champagne? Because we just finished a sick ride. Let, let's spray some champagne into our Mormon Mom. Yeah! <laughs> the drop we did today? 10 feet? Something like that? Nine, I think we sent it 10 feet deep. Man. We sent it 10 At feet deep. At least nine. This gives me the same amount of satisfaction as hitting a 10 foot drop. <laughs> full, of, form, full of Mormon mom soda. And chicken tendies. And chicken tendies. It's a good life. All right, well, Christian just can't get enough of jumping a loaded bike, so we're going for round two. Round two, baby! Let's do it, baby. 
All right, here comes Christian on the black. Oh my gosh! Oh my, think about that, holy frick. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right, good episode, buddy. <laughs> good ride. The Loman Gravel Society is chartered by Old Man Mountain and Robert Axel Project, makers of the most versatile racks and finest through axles available. We are patroned by NOG, lighting up the night for over 20 years. Rare gear, telescoping fly rods that are always ready, and additional support comes from Sugar Wheel Works, 1UP USA, Kona Bicycles, Terra Tires, and Carefree Camera Co.